Team USA was always supposed to be the preeminent international power in men's basketball, but the last FIBA World Cup in 2019 issued a reminder that the rest of the world just might be catching up, as the United States finished the tournament in 7th place after a shocking loss to France in the quarterfinal round. However, in the history of the FIBA World Cup, the United States still holds a total of 5 championships, which is tied for the most first place finishes in the tournament alongside the now defunct Yugoslavia. But in this year's edition of the World Cup in Manila, Team USA has a chance to win World Championship number 6, which would grant them sole leadership in the World Basketball Record Books. Well, just a couple years ago, in the 2021 Olympics, the Americans were able to get their revenge against France by winning the Olympic gold medal. But the thing is, this 2023, Team USA won't have the likes of Kevin Durant, Jason Tatum, or Damian Lillard, players who led them to that 2021 Olympic gold. Instead, Team USA will be headlined by one of their youngest and most inexperienced rosters ever. But despite that, this current team is still undeniably the deepest and most athletic squad in the 2023 FIBA World Cup. They have three players who were NBA All-Stars last season and future superstar Anthony Edwards, Indiana Pacers star Tyrese Halliburton, and reigning NBA DPOY Jaron Jackson Jr. In addition, three other names in the team are also currently the best players of their respective NBA franchises in Brandon Ingram, Jalen Brunson, and reigning Rookie of the Year Paolo Bancaro. Obviously, there's a reason why this version of Team USA is still the overwhelming favorites to win it all in Manila. But the only question remaining is, can any of their closest competitors really pull off the upset? So what's good everyone, it's Real Balls here and in this video, we'll do a quick preview of the 5 other teams outside of Team USA who are considered to have the best odds to win the 2023 FIBA World Cup. So let's get to it. Out of the 32 countries competing in this year's FIBA World Cup, there may not be a team with more hype and expectations surrounding it than Canada. As per DraftKings, the Canadians have the second best odds to win the tournament only behind Team USA. And it's easy to understand why this has been the case, as beginning in the FIBA Americas qualifiers last year, Canada immediately showed dominance, finishing with an 11-1 record. Well, the thing is, at past editions of the World Cup, Canada's top talents were absent and the team definitely suffered because of it. But this this year, even without Jamal Murray on the roster, Canada was still able to assemble the most star-studded and most talented team they've had in history, led by reigning All-NBA First Team guard Shea Gilgis Alexander of the OKC Thunder, as well as emerging young star guard RJ Barrett of the New York Knicks. Well, with Gilgis Alexander and Barrett, Team Canada just might have the most explosive young duo in this year's World Cup, but aside from those two, Canada also has five other NBA players on the roster, which include Lou Dort and Dylan Brooks, two of the the best one-on-one -on -one defenders in the NBA right now, both of whom can also space the floor. Then they've also got talented frontcourt starters in big man Kelly Olynyk and Dwight Powell, as well as another versatile young guard in Nikhil Alexander-Walker. But in addition to those NBA players on their roster, Team Canada will also welcome back other outstanding members of their 2019 World Cup team in Melvin Ajim, Phil Scrub, and Thomas Scrub, all of whom have proven that they know how to contribute in the international basketball stage. Well, sure, in the FIBA World Cup, the expectation is that opponents will be devising schemes to try and limit the on-ball contributions of Gilgis Alexander and Barrett. So obviously, other players would have to step up and play more quality minutes than they're used to. But just looking at how deep Canada's roster is in every position, it won't be surprising to see them smoothly advancing past the group stage despite being placed in the highly competitive Group H with France, Latvia, and Lebanon. Plus, judging by how clutch Gilgis Alexander, Barrett, and even Kelly Olynyk have looked in their two overtime wins against Germany and Spain during their tune-up games the past couple weeks, and also how the rest of the team has just displayed extreme competitiveness, I think Canada is just primed to earn their best finish in FIBA World Cup history this 2023, surpassing their 6th place finish which happened way back in 1982. Moving on, next team on the list is Australia who are tied with France for the third best odds to win the 2023 FIBA World Cup. Well, currently, Australia is ranked as the third best team in world basketball by FIBA itself, only behind Spain and the USA, which could easily be justified by the Boomers winning the bronze medal in the 2021 Olympics and winning gold in the FIBA Asia Cup just last year. And with Australia's emergence as a certified basketball world power, they now look as primed as ever to land their first ever podium finish 
finish in the history of the FIBA World Cup. And that goal looks even more reachable now, especially with Australia headlined by a tournament best 9 NBA players currently on their roster. While Boomer star guard Patty Mills will be back with the team after ranking second in scoring average during the 2019 FIBA World Cup. And while the leadership and skill that Mills brings to this team is invaluable, from now on until the foreseeable future, this Australian team is obviously already in the hands of 6'8 point guard Josh Giddy. After a phenomenal sophomore NBA season with the OKC Thunder, Giddy has already been displaying how he can lead Australia on both ends of the floor during their tune-up games the past couple weeks. As Giddy recorded a near triple double in a blowout win against Venezuela and another all-around statistical performance in an impressive close victory against a powerhouse French team. But again, the rest of Australia's roster is also stacked with NBA talent from all-around wings such as Joe Ingles and Josh Green, lengthy multi-positional players like Dyson Daniels, Matisse Thybul, and Dante Exum, up to versatile forwards in Xavier Cooks and Jack White. And while the absence of Rockets big man Jock Landale leaves the team a little bit thin at the center position, during Australia's exhibition games, we've seen how guys like Duop Reith and Nick Kay could also be reliable big man options for coach Brian Gurgian. Well, obviously, the Boomers' biggest rival in the group stage could be Germany, which features a tough roster headlined by Dennis Schroeder, Daniel Theis, and Franz Wagner. But with a winning basketball program that's been continuously trending upwards over a good part of the past decade, I think Australia is just going to be a very difficult opponent for any team right now. Moving on, next team we're talking about is France, who shares the third best odds to win the tournament with Australia. Well, first of all, arguably no other team will enter the 2023 FIBA World Cup with better continuity than this French team. They won bronze medals during the last two FIBA World Cups in 2014 and 2019, while also winning silver in the 2021 Olympics and also in last year's Eurobasket. Well, French unicorn Victor Wembanyama won't be suiting up for them this year, but this current French team is still definitely full of talent which includes seven guys who were part of their silver medal winning team in the last Olympics. France has a really experienced tall and athletic backcourt composed of former San Antonio Spurs guard Nando Di Colo, who's also been one of the best point guards in Europe over the past decade, as well as New York Knicks wing Evan Fournier, who was part of the FIBA All-Tournament team in 2019. And while the French team's offense might not be considered as elite as that of other World Cup contenders, they definitely have a tremendous advantage on the defensive end. Three-time NBA DPOY Rudy Gobert is definitely going to bring his signature rim protection and will be a walking double-double in the World Cup, but he will also be backed up by another tremendous 7'2 paint presence in Olympiacos big man Mustafa Fall. In addition, former Boston Celtics forward Gershon Yabusali could be the cohesive factor for this team with his hustle and ability to play as a multi-positional defender, while veteran Nick Batum of the LA Clippers will also bring a steady two-way presence for France. Overall, with with Decolo and Batum back on the national team after taking a break last year, and with Evan Fournier determined to perform at his best, especially after losing playing time in New York last season, expect France to really compete and to show their best this 2023 FIBA World Cup, especially as they battle a star-studded Canadian team on their very first game of the group stage. Then moving on, tied with the fourth best odds to win the 2023 FIBA World Cup is Slovenia. After this team showed that they can win at the highest level by grabbing the gold medal in Eurobasket 20. 2017, and by ranking fourth in the 2021 Olympics, Slovenia wants to continue gaining more recognition at the world stage, especially after they failed to qualify for the last FIBA World Cup in 2019. Well, obviously, the main focus for opponents will be what Dallas Mavericks superstar Luka Doncic can do for this team, as Doncic enters this FIBA tournament looking physically better and more experienced than ever before. The good thing is, even with Slovenian basketball legend Goran Dragic already having retired from FIBA competition, Luka Doncic Doncic definitely still got help alongside him. First, Euroleague sharpshooter Klemen Prepolic might be one of the best complementary pieces alongside Doncic, especially after Prepolic averaged almost 17 points on 42% three-point shooting in five games during the FIBA qualifiers. But in addition, guys like Jakob Blazic, Alexei Nikolic, and Zoran Dragic, who all average between 8 and 9 points per game during the qualifiers, are also expected to continue playing bigger roles for Slovenia, especially with Denver Nuggets forward Vlatko Chanchar unable to suit up for the team in 
in the World Cup due to injury. While Slovenia is expected to cruise past the first round of World Cup competition against teams like Cape Verde, Georgia, and Venezuela, but the question will be, can they handle teams like Australia or Germany in the second round of the group stage? Well, for sure, the road for Slovenia won't be easy at all, but everything is definitely possible when you have a cohesive team like this one built around Luka Doncic. Then finally, tied with Slovenia, having the fourth best odds to win the tournament is Team Spain, who are actually ranked number one in the world by FIBA. The Spaniards are the defending FIBA World Cup champions winning in 2019 and are also the winners of the Euro Basket last year. Well, the thing is, despite 2019 FIBA World Cup MVP Ricky Rubio and Euro Basket All-Star 5 selection Lorenzo Brown both not able to suit up this year, Spain still has a dangerous and loaded roster from top to bottom. Last year's Euro Basket MVP Willy Hernan Gomez and his brother Wancho have already been in the spotlight the past couple years as the legitimate heirs to the Gasol brothers. In the World Cup, Willy and Wancho will continue to lead Spain's deep frontcourt, which also features forward Santi Aldama of the Memphis Grizzlies and free agent Usman Garuba. Then in the backcourt, they're also supported by the likes of Alex Abrines and Juan Nunez, while accomplished veterans like Rudy Fernandez, Sergio Yui, and Victor Clover would also provide much-needed experience and competitiveness to this relatively younger Spanish roster. And while they're not favorites to win the gold in Manila this year, it's still definitely hard to bet against the Spanish winning another FIBA medal especially considering the fact that Spain has had a podium finish in 8 of their last 10 FIBA tournaments. Also, during their tune-up games the past couple of weeks, Spain beat Venezuela by 30 points, Slovenia by 20 points, and they were also actually looking primed to beat Team USA before they fell apart in the fourth quarter. The bottom line is, with Spain still being handled by Sergio Scariolo, who's considered to be one of the winningest coaches in FIBA history, the talent and the winning DNA of this Spanish team is still expected to manifest, especially in a long tournament like the FIBA World Cup. So thank you guys if you've actually made it this far into the video and who do you think among all the teams in the 2023 FIBA World Cup could actually pull off the upset and win the tournament? Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comment section below and again if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing as well. Again this is Real Balls and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.